Have you ever been feeling an unpleasant, often strong emotion caused by anticipation or awareness of danger and accompanied by increased autonomic activity? Yes? No? Okay. Maybe I should have put it this way. Have you ever felt fear? Have you experienced fear? It's okay. At some point in our life, we all have felt fear. We all have had fearful thoughts about something. It's just as natural as the hair on your head. Honestly, it's a building block of being human and being the best version of ourselves sometimes require a piece of fear. You're looking at a horror movie and something jumps out at you. You flinch. That's fear. You were afraid that something may grab you or send a shock through your senses. That's a type of fear we all have felt if you're into looking at horror flakes. <laughs> we think of that as a fun fear. Something to wake you up. Something to get you going. It's entertainment. There is different types of fear. And not all fear is bad fear. All fear doesn't always equal something bad. Again, fear is feeling an unpleasant, strong emotion caused by anticipation. So it's not always danger, but it's a strong emotion of anticipation. Sometimes knowing what is coming Sometimes the not knowing we fear. Here's a fear some of us deal with. There's the fear of not being successful. So in return, we push a little harder. We push ourselves further. We make sure that we use all our resources to be successful, to win at whatever it is that we want to win at, to accomplish our dreams and be better than we were before. Yes, there will be times where fear wins. You won't always be successful on the first try. Sometimes you may, other times you won't. We have to try again, keep going. Pick up where you left off and do it again. You have to give yourself time to feel that fear. Live in that fear. Give yourself time with it. You sit down, you go through the emotions, you give yourself that time, but you limit that time. You don't live off of that fear forever. You give yourself that 10 minutes, and then after that you pick yourself up and you go to the next step. You find that courage within that fear to continue to do whatever it is that you are on a journey to do. We do not let fear win. We do not let fear overcome us. Another type of fear is losing someone or something. This is another fear we all deal with. This is another big fear. Something precious to you, something you love, something you care for. Whether it's a pet, person, place or thing, and it could be whatever. But losing something that's dear to you. Example, let's start with Adrian. Adrian grew up with his friend Harold. They went to school together, played on the playground together, did all types of things together. As they was graduating, they knew this course may be running its end. They would go their separate ways. One of them going to school for business and the other going to school for nursing. One is on the west coast and the other on the east coast. Two opposite directions. As time went, Adrian moved back to his hometown. He just missed it. The smell of the grass, 
The way the sunshine hit the park. The way the wind blew through the trees. He loved his hometown. While he was there, he did his normal things. Grocery shopping, getting supplies for the house, and just living. He heard a voice, a familiar voice. He turned around. There was his longtime friend, Harold. They started talking, reconnecting. Talking about all the things they went through during the college years into their adulthood. They both became successful at the things that they wanted to. Then they started coming up with ideas. And after that, they made their own business. Now they have a nursing business. Traveling the world and giving jobs to others. Helping everyone out while saving lives. Even though they had shared a fear of not being able to be friends again. It's okay to fear losing something or someone. You share memories with this person. All the laughter, the lessons learned, everything you went through. It's all the things you want to hold on forever. You don't want to let these things go because these grow with you. They're part of you. So that fear kicks in. It's natural. But if we let that fear take its course, we give it its time. We step back. Everything will work out the way it's supposed to work out. Though we fear things, if we step back and take a step in the path that we make for ourselves, we will make it through. Fear doesn't make you a coward. Fear makes you strong. Step into whatever it is that you fear and conquer it. Conquer your fears. You got this. You control you. This has been Save Space with Gaming Pros. We hope you have a good day. Thank you.